We are in a time when it is sometimes difficult to look positively into the future. We experience violence and war in the world, problems in the economy, and on the internet, we encounter hate and agitation. That's why today, we present you a video that will move you to tears. It will prove that the good things in the world prevail, and we show you moments full of love and solidarity. Included are great moments that go to the heart, but also small gestures of complete strangers who make the world a little better. So it's going to be very emotional today, here at Wonderlane. Let's start with number 9, and a video that shows the Barky family from California. During their summer vacation, the family hosted 11-year-old Sebastian from Columbia, who was an orphan boy living in a home there. The parents, Jobin and Amanda Barkey, knew right away they wanted to take Sebastian in for good. But under Columbia's adoption laws, they couldn't tell Sebastian about the planned adoption. Instead, he had to travel back to his home country first, and the separation from the 11-year-old was heartbreaking. Even their own four children couldn't understand why Sebastian had to leave again. But a few weeks later, the parents finally had the assurance that the adoption had been approved. Jobin and Amanda were able to let their children in on the adoption plans and broke the news to Sebastian in an emotional video. ¿Quieres ser parte de nuestra familia? Sí. 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 Sebastian was and is overjoyed and has since been living with his new family in the USA. Let's continue with a promotional video from Denmark that shows us that none of us is alone in the world. Under the slogan, All That We Share, the producers of the video invited a number of diverse people from Denmark. They all had a different social, political, or religious background and had to gather in one room, separated by markers on the floor. But when the moderator asked questions like, which of you used to be the class clown, or who was bullied and who bullied others, they had to gather in the middle of the room. The experiment got under their skin and moved them to tears because it turned out that they had much more in common than they first thought. Suddenly, muscular bodybuilders were standing next to children, or socially weak people next to rich businessmen. It proved that no one is lonely and that everyone shares the same thoughts, fears, and emotions. At number 7 is the touching story of 59-year-old chimpanzee lady Mama from the Arnhem Zoo in the Netherlands. Mama was one of the oldest chimpanzees in the world, and in 2016, she realized that her time had come. She could be seen already curled up in her enclosure getting ready for her final hours. But before she was to leave this world, she received one last very special visit from a good friend. Professor Jan von Hoof, who had been studying Mama and her colony since 1974. Shortly before the chimpanzee's death, he wanted to visit her one last time, and it seemed as if Mama had been waiting for his visit as well. When she recognized him, a happy smile appeared on her face. The video footage taken during this farewell is deeply moving. The professor stroked the chimpanzee's head and talked to her. Her reactions seemed as if she understood her longtime friend perfectly. She touched him lovingly, patting, and even hugging him. Only a week after this moving farewell, chimpanzee mama passed away, but it showed the deep connection between humans and animals. Next, we come to a heart-touching gesture with which the young American Kirsten Barnett moved her father to tears. Kirsten suffered from endometriosis for many years, a painful disease that, among other things, attacked her uterine lining and made it impossible for her to have children of her own. She went through a difficult time, but her father Robert was always by her side and gave her comfort. After four long years, Kirsten suddenly felt better and actually became pregnant. Of course, she was overjoyed and she wanted to thank her father for his support in a very special way. So she gave her unborn son her father's name and surprised Robert with this heart-touching gesture. The reaction of her father really gets under the skin because her father could hardly believe his happiness and tears ran down his face. Okay. All right, this is the baby's name. You're not doing that, are you? <laughs> The little Robert Jr. was born a few weeks later healthy, and his grandpa does not let him out of his sight. Let's continue with a moment that shows the American Kelly Gunderson together with her mother Daphne. The 87-year-old has been suffering from Alzheimer's for several years and no longer recognizes even her closest family members. Actually, she can't remember her daughter Kelly either, although she comes to visit her several times a week. The American was all the more surprised when her mother suddenly had an absolute moment of clarity and Daphne recognized her daughter for a brief moment. Kelly could hardly believe her happiness and documented this moment in a video. You know who I am though? 
Uh-huh. Who? Uh, Kelly. Yes, Mama. Yes, I am Kelly. Uh-huh. Well, I love <laughs> Kelly. What made this moment even more impressive is the fact that Kelly has a twin sister who looks very much like her. Nevertheless, Daphne recognized the real daughter. Kelly Gunderson eventually posted the video online to encourage people with the same fate. Next, we come to Eva Barolero and her boyfriend Damien. Eva has suffered from circular hair loss since childhood. This means that Eva loses clumps of her hair. For this reason, she had already had her head completely shaven 10 years ago. At some point, the hair actually came back and Eva was hopeful that she had beaten the autoimmune disease for good. During her final exams at university, the hair loss returned and the bald patches could no longer be ignored. So she asked her boyfriend Damien to help her shave her head. In a time-lapse video, she recorded the process and it is clear to see how difficult this moment was for her. But what happened next, Eva probably did not expect. Because when Damien was finished with his girlfriend, he simply continued with himself. He put the razor to his head and shaved off his hair. Eva could no longer hold back the tears and she buried her face in her hands. Damien wanted to prove to his girlfriend that she does not have to walk this difficult path alone, and the video of the touching gesture also moved the internet community. Let's continue with a moment showing the dance performance of a ballet group. The little dancers had been rehearsing for their performance for months when two and a half year old Isabella suddenly got stage fright and cried out for her father. He had been rehearsing the dance with her at home. Her father Mark Daniels, who actually works as a criminal defense attorney, didn't hesitate for a moment and rushed to his little daughter on stage. But instead of simply taking little Isabella off the stage, he took the two year old by the hand and simply danced along. And that even though he was still holding Isabella's little sister in his arms. The performance of Paparina, as the media called him afterwards, went viral on the internet and Daniels later explained that he had acted instinctively and that he wanted to give his daughter self-confidence at that moment. He succeeded in doing so and it is certainly a moment for which Isabella will always be grateful to him. Let's continue with a video that brings tears to your eyes. For the heart trending video, 50 mothers from a Facebook group got together and produced a clip that is strongly reminiscent of British comedian James Corden's carpool karaoke. They are all parents of children with Down syndrome, they wanted to show the world how how normal and also how amusing life with the disability can be. They also wanted to express that their children are absolutely perfect and they wouldn't change a single thing about their life with them. That's why they sat down in the car with their children and performed Christina Perry's song A Thousand Years with them. Instead of singing, however, they used Makaton, a form of sign language. The video was shared millions of times and even James Corden saw the clip on the internet and declared that he was moved to tears. Let's move on to photographs taken in a British nursing home, which show that even small gestures can mean the world to someone. Kia Tobin, a nurse at the home, noticed that 92-year-old Ken Bembo slept next to a photo of his late wife every night. The nurse secretly took a picture of the photo and gave the widower a special surprise. She had a pillow printed with his wife's photo and presented it to the speechless retiree. Ken Bembo could hardly believe his luck and tears of joy flowed. The touching photo went viral and in an interview, the widower said it was the most precious gift he had ever received. Kia Tobin had made him the luckiest man in the world with this small gesture. That's it for our video. Feel free to write us in the comments if you actually got tears in your eyes and which moment you found particularly emotional. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.